When we look up at the night sky, we see infinite depth, stars scattered across vast distances, galaxies drifting in the dark. Space feels like an objective reality, a cosmic stage upon which matter and energy dance. Yet what if this vastness is not out there at all, but a projection from within consciousness? Across philosophy, quantum physics and mysticism, a radical idea emerges. Space may be an illusion, not a physical container, but a mental construct that organizes experience. If so, our entire perception of reality, from the separation of objects to the feeling of distance, might be nothing more than consciousness creating reference points within itself. Space as the first distinction. Every perception begins with difference between near and far, subject and object, self and other. Space, in this sense, is not a substance, but a relation, a structure consciousness uses to organize experience. When awareness differentiates itself, it creates the illusion of extension, of here and there. Philosophers like Immanuel Kant called space a form of intuition, a built-in framework of the mind, not an external property of the world. Even modern neuroscience supports this. The brain constructs spatial awareness through patterns of sensory correlation, not through direct access to space itself. In other words, what we call space may be awareness mapping itself through perception. The Quantum Challenge to Space Quantum physics dismantles our classical understanding of space. At the subatomic level, particles do not occupy definite positions until measured. Instead, they exist as probability waves, fields of potential. Moreover, quantum entanglement shows that two particles separated by light years can influence each other instantaneously, as if space between them doesn't exist at all. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance, but Schrödinger and later thinkers saw it as evidence that reality is fundamentally non-local, connected in ways that defy spatial separation. If consciousness is the field in which observation occurs, then space is not the container of consciousness, but its expression, an internal geometry projected outward. The mind as a spatial engine. From birth, consciousness learns to orient itself through the language of space. The infant discovers near and far, movement and stillness, all of which become metaphors for psychological and spiritual experience. The mind thus creates a spatial model of reality to navigate both inner and outer worlds. But deeper states of consciousness, such as meditation, near-death experiences and lucid dreams, reveal something startling. When awareness withdraws from sensory processing, the experience of space collapses. Yogic and mystical traditions describe this as entering the spaceless light or void of pure being where perception no longer relies on distance or location. Space, then, is a mode of experience, not an ultimate fact. Relativity and the plasticity of space. Einstein's theory of relativity further supports this inner dimension of space. Space and time, once thought to be absolute, are now seen as relative to the observer. The faster one moves, the more space and time distort. Gravity itself curves space-time, meaning even the geometry of the universe depends on perspective. This invites a deeper question. If physical space is relative, could consciousness be the constant? Rather than consciousness arising in space, space may arise within consciousness as a way of localizing infinite awareness into finite experience. In this sense, every observer doesn't exist inside space, Space exists inside every observer as a dimension of perception. The holographic field of awareness. The holographic principle in modern physics proposes that the entire three-dimensional universe may be a projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional surface, much like a hologram. This aligns with mystical descriptions of reality as Maya, the illusion of multiplicity arising from unity if consciousness is the projector, 
then space is the holographic screen upon which the movie of existence unfolds. The appearance of out there is the reflection of in here, structured by vibration, frequency, and perception. Thus, your experience of space is not evidence of separation, but of unity unfolding itself in patterned form. Consciousness imagining dimensions to experience its own infinity. The spiritual implications of spacelessness. When mystics speak of enlightenment or unity consciousness, they often describe the collapse of distance between self and world, subject and object. In these states, the illusion of space dissolves into pure presence. There is no here or there, only the seamless field of awareness perceiving itself as all things. This does not deny the physical appearance of space, but reveals its deeper nature as symbolic geometry, the way the infinite plays as finite. When consciousness awakens to itself, the external universe is recognized as an internal event, a movement within one mind. Every star, every atom, every person becomes a reflection of the same boundless awareness. Reframing Reality – The Infinite Within If space is a construct of consciousness, then the boundaries of the universe are not physical but perceptual. The true edge of the cosmos lies not at the horizon of galaxies, but at the limits of awareness itself. To realize this is to shift from being a point in space to being the field through which space appears. Science, philosophy and mysticism converge here. From quantum non-locality to Advaita Vedanta all point toward the same truth. The universe is consciousness experiencing itself through the illusion of spatial separation. The stars above are not distant, they are expressions of the same infinite mind that looks upon them. Space, then, is not a void, but a mirror, and when we peer into it deeply enough, we see not emptiness, but ourselves. The still point beyond dimension. The illusion of space is not a flaw in perception, but a masterpiece of consciousness. A living architecture that allows infinity to experience relationship, movement, and wonder. When we look into the night sky and feel awe at the vastness, we are not gazing into something external. We are witnessing the infinite depth of our own awareness reflected back to us. Beyond the illusion of distance lies unity. Beyond the geometry of stars lies the geometry of mind. And when that recognition dawns, we realize the greatest paradox of all. We have never moved, never traveled, never been anywhere but the center of consciousness itself, the still point around which the illusion of space revolves. If you enjoyed the video, remember to check out the description below for recommended literature for you to expand on this topic. Thanks for watching and supporting this project.